What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of Everything Home Services coming to, coming to you with another video. This video is a little special to me today. Uh, I'm doing a video on how to zero out your gauges. One thing you want to make sure with your gauges is, i get you a close-up here. When you hook these up to your unit, you want them to be reading at the zero if they're not reading at the zero you need to make an adjustment so i was talking to my son who's currently stationed overseas and i asked him did he know how to do that because he's an hvac tech and uh he's in the military and um he does a lot of things in the military and i told him i asked him he was like well, no nobody ever showed me that so well you know what son i'm gonna do a video and let you check it out to see how to do it it's very simple all you need is a thermostat type screwdriver uh, flathead as you can see i'll get it close here focus there you go can you see that all right so and all you see this right here this actually comes off you just pull this off of the cover see that put that down and then once you do that you can stick your screwdriver in there and physically make adjustments see watch this see if i can get you in this view so check it out, son. Look at this. See, I turn this. I see how it moves. Voila, see? So overall, I want to zero it out. Mine was already zeroed out, so I'm going to put it back at zero. Very delicate there. There we go. Now I am back at zero. You see that? It doesn't look like it on the video, but oh no, I'm not. Let me make a slight adjustment, a little bit more. See? Now I am back at zero. So, and my other side is already at zero. Well, not quite, huh? I need to adjust that one too. It's slightly off, not by much. But it's slightly also. I'm gonna make adjustment at that one of that one too. Just gonna to turn it. There you go. It's at zero. Both of them at zero. It's very, very simple. As you can see, there's no need to drag it out. But son, I told y'all I'd make this video. It's very easy, very simple, but you want to make sure it's reading the right pressures if you have a manual gauge. You know, so I have manual gauge, of course, and I have a digital gauge. Uh, so I have more than one digital gauge. I have the Testo and um, the Testo with the gauge set and then the wireless um, Testo set, which I really, really like. But anyway, YouTube family, I just want to take this moment out for those of you who don't know, who didn't know how to zero out a gauge uh, from a um, charging manifold. That's how you do it. It's very, very simple. I want to thank you for taking the time out to check out the video. Talk to you soon. Have a blessed day.